Hey you guys, so if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you've probably seen a lot of really cool humane mouse traps. The only thing more important though than having the right mouse trap is using your mouse trap the right way. So uh, this is going to be the first of a series of videos about how to get the most use out of your mouse trap. The first thing we're going to look at is placement of your mouse trap. Now, the first thing you want to look at with placing your mouse trap is finding out where your mice are. A real easy way to do that is to look for signs like this, you know, chewed up upholstery, chewed up fabric, or mouse droppings on the floor. Other thing you want to look at though is just mice's natural movement patterns. Now, when mice move naturally, they don't usually go out in open spaces. Now there's a couple reasons for this. The first one is mice's instinct is to avoid open spaces. When a mouse is in a field, it's much more likely to get, you know, snatched up by a hawk or an eagle or something unfortunate like that. So mice are kind of scared of open spaces. The other reason though is that mice have really, really bad eyesight. In fact, they're like almost completely blind. So how do they navigate? Well, mice navigate by touch. They use smell a little bit for finding things, but their main source of navigation is touch. You know, that's why they have those gigantic cute whiskers and all that stuff. So basically, if I was a mouse and this truck right here was my hole and I wanted to go somewhere, I'd be like, coming out of my hole, coming out of my hole, wall is on the left, wall is on the left, wall is on the left. And then when I wanted to go back, I'd be like, wall is on the right, wall is on the right, wall is on the right. I came back. Okay, I'm back in my home. I'm happy now. If I was a mouse and I was to just go out in the middle of the room in an open space where I couldn't feel anything, it would be like, ah, where am I? So mice usually walk along the wall. Where do you think you should put your trap then? You should put it along the wall. My next piece of advice for trapping mice as successfully as you possibly can is to make sure you have enough traps. Now, there's really two reasons for this. The first one is that the more traps you have, the more probability that one of those traps will be set down on a mouse's natural path of movement. The uh, second and even bigger reason is you usually if you have one mouse in your house, have more than one mouse. Now people, whenever they ask me about this, are like, I need help, I have a mouse in my house. You don't have a mouse. You have a whole community of mice who are eating your food, sleeping in your clothes, having wild sex in your closet, most likely. So, you want to have more than one trap for more than one mouse. In fact, I would almost say for a regular size room or garage, it wouldn't be overkill to have four or five traps. And if you have a mouse problem throughout your whole house or have reason to believe that you do, then, you know, eight or nine traps, not overkill. Last but not least, for this video at least, is use more than one kind of trap. I've trapped hundreds of mice and used dozens of different kinds of traps over the years. And if there's one thing I've found, it is that there is no one trap that will work on every single mouse. No matter how good it is, there will always be some mouse out there that is too small, too light, too clever, etc., for the trap to work effectively on it. I've had People complain, they're like, I set out this trap, I caught five mice in it the first night, the next night I caught two mice, next night I caught one mouse, the next night I realized a mouse was robbing it. So have the mice gotten smarter? Well, no, that's not really what happened, probably. The real problem is all those nights that mice were getting trapped, there was one mouse that wasn't getting trapped. And no matter how many nights you leave that trap out, no matter what you bait it with, no matter how many traps you set out at once, that mouse is not going to get caught by that trap. So what are you going to do about that? Set a different kind of trap. And I'm going to put a list of a whole bunch of different mouse traps down in the video description. Make sure you check that out. So if you need help, need some creativity with different kinds of traps that will catch that hard to catch mouse, check it out. 
There are a few other things I could say about trapping mice effectively, but for the sake of all of your attention spans and my camera's battery, we're going to save those for the next installment of this video. For now, let's just summarize what we went over for catching mice. Put your trap in the right place, that is, put it along a wall. Use more than one trap. In fact, use like five or six traps. And use more than one kind of trap for that hard to catch smart mouse that just won't be caught by the one kind of trap that you're using. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for your likes, for your subscriptions. If I ever told you guys you're awesome, like, all this would not be possible without you. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for your support. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that for more advice, reviews, and of course, awesome in-action videos, all with the purpose of learning how to humanely deal with your mouse problem. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Lousy twisted round, but where?